for the Philippines, we can say that uh, our constitution protects our people as well as the local government units that produce national wealth and one of them is the mining or extractive industry. So in our constitution and in, in the law we are given 40 the LGUs are given 40% for that. So in this particular aspect there are three players. So the first player is the collecting agency, the second is the releasing agency which is our department, the Department of Budget and Management, and the third player is the LGUs which of course would uh, eventually redound to the constituency of said LGUs. So what are the challenges? First, in so far as the collecting agencies are concerned, one of the challenges or the biggest challenge that we know is how to disaggregate and provide the data for the relevant users. So in there are there are instances, well before there was no disaggregation of data in that the amounts are really just lumped and that the releasing department, our department, eventually doesn't care whether we release it with details or not. But under EITI, the standards that were given, we realize that it's really, really helpful for everyone, not just for the government, but also for the subnational governments, eventually the constituents. So with EITI, we were able to require our collecting agencies to disaggregate, disaggregate as much as they can at this point. And then for that details will be used by the releasing department, uh, the de Department of Budget and Management. And that will be disclosed to the local government units as well as the, the constituents. So with that, I think we are maturing in order to be able to share with the public the information in so far as our, the collection of our mining uh, taxes are concerned.